The other day when I was out in Brooklyn, I saw this gigantic pink bunt cake in a window and I took a picture of it and I shared it with you on The Elegant Thrifter. It reminded me that I have a bunt pan that sadly has been living underneath my cabinet for several years. I decided I wanted to make one of the old bunt recipes, uh, the Tunnel of Fudge Cake. So I pulled out my Nordicware pan, went to the Nordicware website, and I pulled out the recipe. And I'm going to share it with you today. It's the first time I've made it. I know people say never, never uh, use a recipe for the first time without trying it yourself. But we'll try it and we'll see what happens with me, my dolly, and my bun. Like any good cake, this one starts out with butter and sugar, a cup and three quarters of each. We're going to mix it and mix it and cream and cream until it's light and fluffy. And then I have four eggs that have been waiting at room temperature and I'm going to incorporate them in one at a time. Now, if that weren't sweet enough, I'm going to add two cups of powdered sugar and then the rest of my dry ingredients, which include two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, three quarter cup of cocoa, and two cups of chopped walnuts. I've stirred and I've stirred and I've stirred and now I'm going to put this in my prepared pan and that I've uh, floured and buttered and, uh, you know, uh, the interesting thing about this uh, this cake is there's it calls for all-purpose flour um, and it does not call for any uh, baking powder or so I think that what we will get what I hope when I take this out of the oven a very very rich dense chocolatey cake and I'm hoping for that tunnel of fudge right in the middle my tunnel of fudge bun is about to go in the oven. I've preheated it to 350 degrees and the instructions say to bake it for 58 to 62 minutes. I don't know what the specifics are but I'm going to trust my Nordic Ware recipe and set the timer and come back and we'll see what happens. My timer just went off I gave it two more minutes, so it'd be 62 minutes, like it asked, because apparently that's what's going to cause the tunnel of fudge to form in the middle. So I'm gonna open up here and see how it comes out of the oven. <laughs> Yum! It looks really, really good. Now, I'm gonna take it out, and we're gonna set it on this rack where it is going to cool for one hour. And then, we'll turn it upside down Watch the magic. <laughs> Has cooled exactly an hour. It's time to turn her upside down and see if she's going to come out of the pan and to uh, put her on top of my favorite John Darian platter. So, huh? let's see her. This, this way and it has a little handle here on this Nordic wear butt pan so I can feel it. it feels like it's centered and now I'm going to turn it this way let's cross our fingers and uh, I'm going to give it a little spank 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 it's a nice spank, like a birthday spank. It's been a very nice bun. Well, it is a birthday bun. So, you know, give it a birthday spank. I see crumbs coming out, and I sort of see cake coming out. I don't want to get too ambitious, I'm going to take this knife and just sort of lift it a bit here and there, see if it will release. I told you I've never made this recipe before. And, uh, well, let's put this on hold for a little bit. 
I'm relieved to show you that this cake did in fact come out of the pan. And I um, added a little drizzle of chocolate sauce just for fun. We're ready for a delicious dessert. And as I showed you, the tunnel of fudge formed. And uh, how about a piece? Would you like some? Now, if you're looking for more entertaining ideas, pick up my book, The Find, the housing works book of decorating with thrift shop treasures, flea market objects, and vintage details. Now, if you'd like to have the recipe for the tunnel of fudge cake, go to nordicware.com slash recipes. I'm Stan Williams, the elegant thrifter. Always frugal, always fabulous. Just